Welcome to this new Flight Simulator update movie. In this movie we're gonna look at Adelaide, which has received a photogrammetry update as part of world update number 7, which was released almost a week or already a week ago, right? So more than a week ago even. So plan is to I'd say depart from uh, this airport, which is Adelaide International, and then fly across the city and see what has changed. Uh, so let's go inside the cockpit. Uh, let's remove the parking brake. Park brake and then increase the power. It's still ring again. But that's kind of normal, or at least it became a kind of normal uh, after <coughs> World Update number seven. It's really weird to see that it's uh, impacting it so much. So departing from this airport, nice airport, also received an update, right, so several updates, uh, so now we've got the ATC on our back, so we can ignore it, uh, and then eventually uh, we will stop uh, telling something. So what we already can see is that the photogrammetry update is mainly in the city center, right, so just, I would say, in front of us. Clear to land runway 23, generic Alpha Lima Romeo. Crafters, X-ray Golf Sierra, leaving my airspace frequency change approved. So that's that. So decrease the power a bit. Then we're going to simply look around, right? So this is the, I would say, normal part of the city, but you can already see some 3D buildings popping up over there. If you look, uh, look in that angle. Uh, so that's good. Uh, besides the uh, 3D photogrammetry, there are is exactly one boy which has been added uh, to Adelaide, so not too much. Sierra, Here you can see that it's out a the rest of the city is kind of let's say flattened, so not too much. But the closer we come to the city center, I would say the more buildings we see popping up in the air. So let's first fly to the boy and then uh, let's have a look at the rest of the city. One of the things I see is that it looks like that everything is really orange, but maybe that's me. It looks like there's some layer of orange on this city. Compared to the other cities, uh, I must say. So let's go outside. Have a better look at the Adelaide Oval. That's the point of interest in which have been added. So then we the flaps. Yeah, we heard you ATC. Simply don't want to control the ATC used on the Xbox. Should have switched on the uh, assistant for the. Uh, Answer the, I should say, the co pilot assistance to answer the radios. So, while we're flying, right, you can see that in the city center itself there are a lot of uh, buildings which have been, I'd say, popped up in the air. So, the photogrammetry carry update with all the 3D buildings uh, is mostly focused in the city center, right, because if you would look around, then we don't see uh, much. You see also that the aircraft are crazy, uh, crazy blinds. Push back on that. Uh, or just turn right that says no direction. Increase the power. Because what we now want to do is, of course, decrease. Uh, decrease our altitude because we want to have a close look at those buildings, right? So. Adelaide approach on one, two, those buildings are now behind us. There they are. Some racing track here, as it looks like. One, two, eight, decimal, six, generic, Alpha, Lima, Romeo. Here 
change that late, right? So I'm going to decrease the altitude further while keeping an eye on the speed. And then look from closer how nice those buildings are. You can see a lot, a lot of, uh, I would say, high towers, including probably some hotels, because there's, a, I would say, there's even a swimming pool on this one, as you can see. So I need to keep an eye on the altitude. You can see that Flight Simulator still struggles, right? Especially with those buildings uh, to uh, cope with uh, so probably all the data and all the quality. So I'm going to increase the uh, speed again, so we in can increase altitude. I'd say the fun fact is that this, if you would fly further away from the city, you will see that it starts to perform better. So it's definitely something which needs to be investigated. And while saying that, right, if you didn't see it yet, uh, there's a new sim update coming and currently it's in beta, right? So if you want to help making the product better, you can participate in the beta. Uh, post another video about that, how you can join it. Uh, so have a look at it. It's uh, on the top of this video. You can see uh, where you can get it or how you can get it, I should say. Be aware that if you leave the beta that you might want might need to reinstall a complete flight simulator uh, which means in most cases if you're unlucky and you've bought the most expensive version that you need to download or re-download uh, gigabytes of data so be aware of that so there's the airport so in city of adelaide are more airports right uh, this is just one of them uh, well, we're going to move to the uh, other part of the city. There are also some other airports there over there. So you can select on which airport you want to land if you are flying into the city. I'm thinking that I'm going to readjust the propeller a bit. altitude helps uh, I would say lowering the RPMs right to high RPMs uh, or say for an extended time long high RPMs are not good for the engine so we're gonna fly into this direction because it looks like there's a bridge over there so let's have a look at it but what I was saying right there are multiple airports the, one of them uh, we just departed from, but there are other are, so there are other airports in the northern part of uh, Adelaide, uh, two to be on, to be exact. Not sure if we can see them from here. I don't think so. So let's have a look again at the outside right. Yeah, this part of the city is really flattened. You can see in the, the, the green part right in the top right corner, you can see that it's, uh, it's, it's the other airport which I just referred to. If we look around us, uh, it's a big city, as you can see. We're talking right here, coming closer to the, uh, to the airport. Which we want to visit. We're probably now arriving in the harbor. A lot of other uh, items here. There are some uh, custom updates uh, created by the community, which uh, let's say are updating the harbor, especially from some of the photogrammetry cities, because based on the feedback, it was not so realistic or 
looked a little bit messy, so they updated it that far. So have a look at uh, Flight Sim.2 for those updates. Close to the coastline. This is some more large ships over there. So that's something we can visit. So we have these sent uh, a little bit. Adelaide Tower Rex 3 are over here. An island without a bridge, because the bridge has been fixed as part of this world update. I want to go to the northern part because there's also something uh, over there. It looks like it's something which is part of the harbor. Just want to have a look at it. So let's see what they change here. You can also see some buildings, right, which have been updated. Uh, you can see that those are 3D buildings, uh, so harbor buildings. It looks like in some of the cities, they besides the city updates, they also uh, form some harbor updates. So this is the industry part of uh, Adelaide. Here, so I need to be careful because I see while talking we're going way too far down in the uh, screen section. Some containers here, or some container ships, some trains. a lot of green, right? A lot of islands uh, close to uh, the city. So definitely worth uh, looking at that part. So, in the part of flying to currently it looks like it doesn't receive too much updates, to be honest. But say so that's what we that's the pattern we're seeing for all the cities, right? In most cases it's the city center which has received the updates. All the parts of the city are not so much updated. At least not from the 3D part. And right if you don't I didn't look at my previous 4K movies I'm playing on the Xbox so that's why it sometimes looks so bumpy uh, when I'm uh, trying to adjust. I need to find the idle settings for the Xbox controller to fly uh with my familiar. Gonna decrease 
increase the speed further. As we're coming close to an airport, and of course we, we can't resist, let's say, landing on that one. We didn't have radio contact, right? So I'm fully aware of that. Normally you're requesting permission to land. We're not just going to give it a try. We can drop the flaps already. Decrease speed further. Still descending or too fast, so we're far too high, right? So normally you would descend, start descending a lot earlier, because now we need to make, say, crazy dive uh, to make sure that we're, uh, let's say, we can catch the uh, runway. Another thing you can, of course, decide to do is make uh, a fly around and then make a turn. Maybe that's better to do in this case. scenario we need to increase speed a bit else we're, we will end up in a stall so there's the airport two runways right you can see that one looks a little bit longer than the other one uh, but since we're flying a pretty small aircraft, we can use uh, both of them. This even has a fourth and fifth runway, so it's a pretty big airport as you can see. So idea is that we ca we're gonna decrease our altitude further. So we're gonna decrease the speed. And then make a turn. We probably need to wait a little bit more, right? Because we're the runway's over there. I want to ensure that we can line up correctly. illegal we're just gonna use the right one way you can see that we should have let's say pause the aircraft a little bit more to the right we're gonna drop the speed and then we crashed the flight simulator crashed. Wow. That was not a good end of this movie, but here ends this movie in this case. I hope you liked it. In this video, we looked at Adelaide and the uh, changes which have been made to the city as part of world update number seven. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.